Well, Aaron, predictive policing was designed to anticipate where crimes were likely to occur and, in some cases, who might commit them. However, in some areas, there is concern that the program is racially biased. Policing is based on computer algorithms which analyze data and offer hot spots in neighborhoods for officers to target before crime happens. Santa Cruz County Supervisor Zach Friend was a crime analyst with the police department when predictive policing was introduced about seven years ago. He says the department made sure the program was designed so it did not target personal identifiers. That's what was designed and that's what was used. That is not what's being used in some other city. Um, on their own systems that they've designed or other companies that have come down the pikes. The largest departments in New York, Chicago, and Los Angeles are being sued for not releasing information about their predictive policing programs because some people believe racial biases are influencing the algorithms. Predictive policing, the model that we're using uh, with Predpol, a local company, is, uh, is focused on the history of crime, not necessarily the people who are committing the crime. And so it'll give you a geographic location. It's more of a spatial analysis. Last year, the ACLU and civil rights, privacy, racial justice, and technology organizations issued a lengthy statement about predictive policing, suggesting the system is profoundly flawed. They claim it is systematically biased against communities of color and allows unconscionable abuses of police power. It's a balancing act, a constant balancing act. Chief Mills says his department has not received any complaints. However, he believes anything that points officers in the direction of crime is a useful tool in problem-oriented policing. Well, we can go and just patrol it. I would much rather have us go and work with the people who are parking there to reduce the incidence of car burglary, uh, to educate people, and then to arrest the people who are doing that. Chief Mills also said he is thankful there are watchdog groups like the ACLU and other community groups to look at what the police are doing and for police to hear their concerns. Aaron. Hi, Phil. Thank you. We did try to contact the company that developed Retract. the programs, but they did not respond to our request for an interview for tonight's story. On their website, though, they emphasize that their algorithm, the algorithms used in the programs only assist in predicting when and where a crime is likely to occur not who might commit it.